Hi, my name is Harrison. I'm a tutor at Chegg Tutors, and today I'm going to talk to you about the law of large numbers. The law of large numbers says that as you perform more trials of an experiment, the relative frequency of an event approaches a single value. This is a super important idea in statistics because it guarantees that we'll get a long-term result in a series of successive trials in an experiment. So let's say that we're tossing a coin. Now we know theoretically that the probability of getting heads in any particular coin toss is 50% or 0.5. We can do an experiment to show that as we do more and more trials, more and more coin flips, we will empirically go towards this, uh, this 0.5 line. So let's say we do a first trial, one coin flip, and we get heads. That would be one heads out of one trials. So we can put a dot right there. Let's say we do it again and we get tails. Okay, so that would be one head out of two trials. That's down at a half. That's what we know our uh, theoretical probability is. All right, so let's, let's say we do a third trial and we get another head. So then we'll have uh, two heads out of three trials. That'll put us up here. Let's say we do a fourth trial in which we get tails. So two heads out of four trials. Let's say in our fifth trial we get, let's say we get um, tails again in our fifth trial. So that'll be two fifths, so less than half. And what, what you find is the more and more we do this, we get closer and closer to that 50% line there that uh, our empirical probability from a large number of trials approaches the theoretical probability that we know to be true. If this seems obvious to you, that's probably not surprising because Jacob Bernoulli, who actually proved the law of large numbers in 1713, uh, even said that he felt like he was just proving common sense. It does make sense that the more you do something, the more accurate it becomes. You have to be careful, though, to not mix up the law of large numbers with the law of averages, which is a pretty common thing. You'll hear a lot about it from people who don't know statistics. The law of averages is not real. The law of averages says you can explain the behavior of a random event over sh the short term. The law of numbers only deals with things on the long term. The more we do coin flips, the more that approaches 50%. The law of averages would, would say that, let's say we have four heads in a row as we're flipping coins in our experiment. The law of averages is the belief that because we just got four heads in a row, we're somehow due for a tails. There is absolutely no statistical reason for this to be true. In fact, this tails is just as likely as a head, 50-50. You, you are not do for a specific outcome because you haven't had it in a while or because the, uh, the specific string of outcomes you're looking at doesn't reflect the overall frequency that we know. That's the law of averages. It's a logical fallacy. You really have to watch out for it because it's, it's very common, especially among gamblers. Uh, there's a specific subset of the law of averages called the gambler's fallacy that deals with that idea. So. Yeah, that is the law of large numbers. It's a very important concept in statistics because it allows us to guarantee that we can come up with an empirical probability based on an observed experiment so long as we do enough trials. And uh, thanks for watching.